Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw P1000. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. So for those of you that are going to stick around though, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. So, ooh, did you see that? See what I did? I, I decided I want them kind of at an angle. So I, I started my stick figure to um, do that. So basically, you know, a lot of this is, you know, uh, figuring it out and doing that, but you gotta, you gotta go off anatomy, even though, you know, it's, it's Peely or what's left of Peely. <laughs> Uh, is it liquidy now? Because he's a... <laughs> I am hilarious. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, what I was trying to say is, uh, even though it's not a human form, it does have human form. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's got arms, legs, body shape, that kind of thing. So we just want to make sure that we get the, the you know, the body shapes down. So you always want to, you know, make a stick figure. Um, I, I, and I talk about this a lot, that it's best to always sketch out the entire thing instead of starting with your favorite part, the eyes and building out, drawing the head first. Everybody does that. I used to do it too. It's it's a bad habit to get into because uh, what I always say is that, you know, you could start off with the face and whatnot, then all of a sudden you realize you're all the way down here. Then look, you're drawing down here, which is off the camera. So it's better to always sketch out and make sure you're in the right spot before you go too far and so that's all that's all I'm trying to say just sketch sketch get it right you know um let's see what else can I tell you what are the nuggets of wisdom can I tell you while while we're uh, sketching this out are you sketching or is it just me Hopefully you are. If not, that's yeah, fine if you're waiting for me. Because yeah, I'm the one who's putting in the pose. You know, I get it. But one of these days, you're going to figure it out too. You're going to want to do it for yourself. And that's going to be the great greatest day right there is when you figure out, like, you know what? I want to do it like this. And then you do it. Woo, doggy. That's, that's when you start to have fun. When you realize that you can do whatever you want. It's like I joke around here and I say, I do what I want. And that's because... I do. I know how to draw. Or at least I know enough of anatomy that I can put it in the position that I want. I'm not claiming I'm a great artist or I know how to draw. You know, you can always learn. You can always get better. But, uh... <clears throat> excuse me there. Um, but I know my anatomy and I know how to get me where I want to go. So I, I know how to drive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And this is, a. Uh, this one's coming out pretty easily. Um, for not knowing what I'm doing. I mean, you know, this is this is a, a guess of anything else because, uh, like I was saying before, it's parts, and I don't know the parts. I'm just kind of drawing with a, um, a, an image from the store, you know, that shows me uh, what his parts are. And I'm just kind of building off of that. Or, or putting them in, in these positions, basically, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Alright. Boy, that was quick. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to go. Um, there's a, like, the fine detail, like the lines in the arm and all that stuff. I think I can do that later, because I think I'm, I'm happy with where I am. That came out really, really, really fast. So I'm going to erase some of the, the darker lines just because we want the confidence lines not the sketchy lines because you always want to go with what's confident not with what's sketchy right i always talk about a ladder i don't know why i always bring up a ladder but i always say you wouldn't walk or you wouldn't use a ladder that's sketchy you'd use a ladder that you're confident with and I guess also when I'm thinking of this ladder, I'm not thinking of climbing. For some strange reason, I'm thinking of it as going across two things. And you're walking across the ladder uh, like that. I don't know. I don't know why I think that. So anyway, uh, let's. I'm ready to go. Let's jump over to the Sharpie portion. And let's welcome all the people that skipped to this portion of the video. 
Welcome skippers, welcome to the sharpie portion of the video. I'm going to be using a sharpie fine point and a sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen for some finer details and uh, a line control that I can't quite do with the fine point, but I can do with the pen. So because of that, I think I'm going to start off with the, um, <laughs> the cup, I guess is what it is. But I kind of don't want to do his face. I kind of want to do... Oh, no, no, I'm going to do his face. I'll do his face. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to do it with this fine detail and then I'll jump to the big sharpie in a second, okay? So I've sketched the entire thing out, I'm ready to go, and I'm going to start working on the cup. So because I've sketched it, I know exactly where these lines are going, I'm not just drawing willy-nilly. Ooh, this is a big sharpie. I'm going to switch to the small one. Sorry, I got two. These sharpie pens, um, there's one that's a little thicker than the other. So I'm going to do the other one down like this. And then go ahead and connect them like a cup, you know, basically. Like that. And I'm going to do the top of it like this. And this is really hard for me because I can't turn my paper. Whereas you can turn it in any way you want. I have to kind of move my arm because it's taped down to the, uh, to the table. The paper is, sorry, not it. That's very, very unhelpful when I just say it, right? Okay, so I'll go ahead and do the, the face. I'm gonna do one circle like that. And it's okay if the circles don't come out perfect. See, that one's not perfect. It's no big deal. And that one's even bigger than the other one, so that was a mistake, but that's okay. No big deal. I'm gonna draw on the face. And let's see, can we do the tongue? Yeah, let's do the tongue. Like that. Oops, that's okay, that's gonna be black anyway. I'll go ahead and just color that in be done with that. Booyah! All right. So, now I'm going to go, I think I'm going to switch over to the other Sharpie now because, uh, like I said, I usually use this for the fine details in the face, like the eyes, the nose, things like that, but I think it's time for the big Sharpie. So, I'm going to draw the little holder that's on top of his head with something like that. Here, we'll do this with a little bit of, of, uh, of fine detail Sharpie. Let me draw this out just a little bit better. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do the top portion, which is basically just a big like square. I guess that's not a square, it's more of a rectangle, huh? That's uh, like holding the top of his head up. And so now I'm going to draw the neck piece. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw the bottom part like that to kind of give me some start-stop points so I know where I'm going. Then I'm going to build it up and go back here. Gonna go back like that and it kind of arcs around the top so that's why I was kind of doing it like that. Like this. I'm gonna draw the bottom of it like that. Bottom of it like that. And then I can draw the other sides. The uh, the outer edge basically. Like this. And this other outer edge like this. Make them connect that way. And there are like little uh, lines. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that with the Sharpie or with um, color. Because I think color would look better. So yeah, I'm going to leave it like that for color. So let's draw his body. So I've got his chest piece coming in like this. And it's going to kind of come down. And we're doing kind of like angular stuff. It's not all going to be perfectly curved or straight. I'm just doing like um, a robot mech, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. And it's just like the, the housing that uh, holds him together, you know? I guess there's, I really don't have to explain it to you. You know, you know how crazy he is and what he looks like. So I'm gonna draw the, the, the dumbbell that's his uh, armpit. It's a dumbbell joint is what it's called. I, I call it that because of toys. Toys have uh, certain parts like that called dumbbell, point, dumbbell joints. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the top of it there, bottom of it there, come in, and there is, like the other one, there's like a, a little edge to it that we're going to draw like that and uh, bring the rest of it down. So I'm going to draw his... his, his uh, Lower half, I guess that's the best way to say it. Let's see, I'm gonna draw this right here. Again, just to give me some guides. 
start-stop points of where his his arms are going to be that I don't want to draw through. That's really why I was doing that. Okay? See, like that, I wanted to go behind the, the dumbbell joint. Okay, we come down here like this. Indent a little bit and come back down and connect it. And again, it's got another level to it, so we're just going to take the smaller Sharpie and just kind of do that, just to kind of accent. Oops, should have gone all the way, huh? To kind of accent the uh, the build to it, like that. And oh, and he's got. Uh, okay, there's a label there. I'm gonna leave that for color. Sorry, sorry to get you excited. There. Let's draw this. No, I take it back. I'm not drawing that. So uh, I'm gonna again. Bear with me for a second here. I'm gonna float a piece like this. Okay, and again, I'm going to draw just a little bit of an edge just to show that it's, you know, it, it's, it's not a flat piece, basically is what I'm trying to do. And the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted to draw this bottom piece underneath it a little bit lower like this and going behind it like that. Does that make sense? Like this, and then... We'll go ahead and connect it like that. And I think what I will do, though, is I will draw you the, uh, the, uh, um, riveted pieces. I guess, I don't know, what would you call that? Because they're not rivets, they're, uh, um, la layered? No, they're not layered. Segmented. The segmented pieces. That's what I'm going to draw for you. All right, that's our new word of the day. Segmented. Okay, and these are his little connecting joints. This is his, his leg piece I got going like this. And I'm gonna draw the back end like that. And this one you're seeing from a different point of view, but kind of the same. And um, I guess we're just gonna draw the legs. We're here, so we might as well just keep going and, and work on the legs. So I'm gonna draw the big piece and I, it's basically just a flow. His arms and all that, they don't really have uh, joints like knees, elbows. He's got the segmented pieces, kind of like a, a, a centipede or something that would help you bend. And we don't have to uh, draw um, hard edges. So basically what I'm trying to say is we're just going to flow, all right? So I'm going to flow the arm, <laughs> the leg, down like this. Close it off. There's a middle piece or a front piece. So I'm gonna bring the back piece up like that. And I should have segmented, but that was gonna be really hard. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw that middle piece like this. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some segments, okay? And there's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm not specifically trying to, you know, go a certain amount of pegs uh, or segments. So that's why I didn't want to do the bumps like that, because I didn't want to um, um, uh, limit us to what we can do. And here's another technique I want to show you too. So see how these are kind of up? And then here they're down like that? That's just going to show uh, you know, a layered level like that. But you got to remember, it's got to get lower and lower and lower, then flat, then it can go down. So it's going to be up and come down like this, basically. So these... I'm going to kind of go like this. And it's just a, a technique to show um, that it's got uh, a, 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 that 3D level to it, but that's kind of what I'm trying to say. It's not flat, you know? All right, so let's finish up this leg here. And uh, I'm just going to kind of draw like kind of what I'm guessing at, so you know, bear with me if it's not 100% right. But again, I, I'm going by a picture that I've got off of uh, the store. And I'm just kind of guessing at what it might look like in this position. All right. I, I like it, though. I'm very happy with it so far. It's how's yours coming out? Mine's awesome. Okay, there's that foot. So let's do work on this one. And this one's more pointed at you. So this line is going to be kind of more straight down the middle, too. 
So I'm going to do the top part like this. Again, we're just going to flow. Come down here like this. I'm going to do backside like this. Connect it there. And again, draw that middle a little thinner down like that. So see that side kind of more to the front like this. So same thing, we're just going to kind of go down. See if you can do what I was talking about, how we're going to like go up and down, across and down. Start to thin it out. I've got more segments here than over there, so I gotta, I gotta thin them out more. So see, there's our straight one. Going across, then down and over. Down and over. See what I'm doing? Like that. So see how it kind of flows? That's the whole idea. It's just having a little fun with uh, movement and 3D. Well, not 3D, but I guess a, a third a third dimensional level, you know, because it's not 3D, but it's not flat. I just don't want to confuse you. All right, looking good, looking real good. So I'm going to do the front toe, and this one's more pointing at you. So I'm going to uh, like draw this, this metal part more flowing like this, and then those, those toes are just kind of, you, all you can really see is like that. because it's more pointed at you, you know? All right, looks good. So we'll go ahead and draw like a little bit of a, a top level for that one. All right, I'm, I'm happy with mine. How's yours coming out? Good. I'm gonna connect that a little bit more just so we have a more solid, um, I almost called him Peely again, a more solid P. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, I don't want to hear about your solid P. Okay, sorry, all right, let me clean it up, let me clean it up. So, I'm gonna draw his arm like this, and again, I'm just gonna kind of flow down to his his wrist. So, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go all the way to the hand, because uh, he doesn't really have a wrist, you know? He's just got kind of a uh, an arm, you know? That's a little thinner than I want. I should have made it thicker, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. And so his thumb, I'm just gonna draw it like this. And then the other fingers, I'm gonna draw same thing. Just nubs, you know? That's what he's got, his nubs. But we'll, we'll, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna separate the pinky like that. Just to, you know, make it into a hand. So now it's, it's not just like this, not like a mitten. It's a hand like that. So now let's do the same thing here with a little bit of, of uh, a little bit of that edge, just a little bit, and it's turning like that. So here we're gonna do. Let's see. Oh, this one's got. Sorry, I gotta connect this. That's where it, it connects to the arm right there. Let's do this one too, just so I don't forget, because I tend to do that. So that looks weird that it's floating, but hey, that's okay. Okay. And this one's a little different. So this one has like a, a middle layer to it like that. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of adjusting for that. And so same thing, I'm gonna start to flatten it out, flatten it out and do for that middle layer. So you see what I'm doing there? All right. And let's do the little, little bumps or not bumps, but the, little tech looking detail there you go it's not really tech looking right it's just details all it really is like that all right i like this one this one's coming out awesome all right so now we just got to do his other arm and so same thing we're just going to flow it out just like we did so top level flow that arm out to the hand something like that Come back in, boom! All right. Oh, let's do let's do the fingers before I forget. Something like this. Again, draw those digits. And we'll do the pinky like we did over there, just to you know, like I said, make it make it stand out. Okay. So last few things, we're just going to add those those uh those ridges. All right. Oops, didn't connect it. 
Okay, and so now I'm just gonna add the, uh, the little detail. See, I got it right this time. All right, so there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color, and that is the P1000. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.